Really, really insane day for MMTLP, MMAT, COSM, which could be one of the bigger squeezes we have seen since Mullen, Redbox, SNDL, all of those short squeeze plays, even AMC, it's starting to feel like a little bit here. We got so much to cover in today's video. Make sure you drop a quick like, turn on the notification bell to get these stock picks instantly. We got a lot of bangers coming out in the near future. I wanted to start this video out really quick, shouting out TD in the private Discord. He's been killing it lately. Just in the Discord, he made over $15,000 this month alone from the private Discord alert. If you do want to join the private Discord, get these kind of gains. There is a link in the top pinned comment to join. And his family went ahead and said, thank you for all you do for us. And I want to say to him that it's really him. He's the one that takes that initiative. Hit the buy button, hit the sell button on all these stocks. They're just ideas. But I highly suggest everybody come join the family. Come get these stock picks. We're absolutely killing it lately. I'm going to start with M. MMTLP here. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to go live again tomorrow morning for MMTLP, MMAT, and COSM and the other plays. I'm still trying to decide if you guys still want to see that stream. And just let me know in the comment section. MMTLP was up 32% today to 11.65. The market cap has reached 3.46 billion. And so many people have been asking me, since the market cap is so high now, does that mean it's going to be much harder for this stock to move higher? Isn't it overvalued at the levels we're seeing today at this billion dollar market cap. In this situation with MMTLP, the market cap really means absolutely nothing. Let's not forget that HKD ran 25,000% to a 450 billion market cap, having a larger market cap than Visa for a short period of time. And that had nothing to do with, with fundamentals. It was a pure short squeeze play. I'm pretty sure HKD only does around 50 million revenue per year. No fundamentals involved. Just a pure squeeze opportunity. Could MMTLP do what HKD did? Could it have a 25,000% squeeze? Really anything is possible, but it's all up to retail to see where they want to take this. This is one of the strongest communities that I've seen in a stock since AMC. So I would not be surprised to see this continue hitting numbers that nobody would have expected just a few weeks ago. And just know that anything can happen with how bad the manipulation is in this market. We could absolutely have a big red day. We could, anything can happen. Don't expect it to just go up and up and up and up every day. We could have a red day every now and then. Right now, we got that crazy momentum where it closed at a high of the day. So I'm pretty confident that we can continue this momentum. I just want you to know how bad the manipulation is with these market makers. They fooled around with stocks in the past. I just don't want you to get caught off guard, but we're looking really, really good right now. HKD ran from $12 to $2,500, but there was also Chinese groups on HKD likely manipulating the play higher and to the upside while and that was at a time where Chinese stocks were very hot. That is a completely different situation than MMTLP. MMTLP ran up 32% today, hitting a new all time high of 1170. And it's currently in blue sky breakout territory. What is a blue sky breakout? It's when a stock moves above its previous record high and there's only blue sky overhead. You can see there's absolutely no resistance back here. The sky is the limit for MMTLP since there's no history of the stock ever being at these levels. There's truly no resistance except for psychological resistance at like $15, $20, $50, $100, and so on. This is the best situation for a stock for the bulls. Blue sky breakout territory, no resistance. Let me know your price target in the comment section down below. I've seen so many different numbers. I just want to hear what you all believe this could hit. There was about 3 million volume today. Shorts need to close at least 5 to 10 million shares of volume per day. This was from Tony Twitch on Twitter. The longer the shorts take, the less time is left and they still have to close out by buying to close their shares. They need to buy even more shares in less time with not many selling at these levels, so it's very hard to do so. The short's only hope is to close by buying to close first before other sh shorts. So it's gonna be a race to see who can close their short position out the very first and the quickest, but it's gonna be difficult to do so, and it can cause a massive squeeze when they go ahead and race to close out the position. Shorts likely did not close today. This was likely just new retail investors learning about the situation. There was a bunch of new watchers on stock Twitch. Shorts will be forced to close out anyway once this company moves private. We know that over the weekend, the CEO of MMAT let us know that the S1 is now effective, but we were still waiting on the filing to prove that. Early this morning before market open, we got notice of effectiveness submitted to the SEC officially. This is a step towards getting the record date 
and the distribution date. This will come with an additional 424 prospectus filing and a PR that will lay it out very clear for us. Here's a post from MMAT News. This can be released any day now. Shorts have a specific time frame before the company goes private to buy back their shares. What is the record date? The record date is set by the board of directors of a company and refers to the date by which investors must be on the company's books in order to receive a stock's dividend. What happens to a stock after the record date? Once the company sets the record date, the ex-dividend date is set based on the exchange rules. The ex-dividend date for stocks is usually set one business day before the record date. If you purchase a stock on its ex-dividend date or after, you will not receive the next dividend payment. What is the ex-dividend date? The ex-dividend date is set the first business day after the stock dividend is paid. If you sell your stock before the ex-dividend date, you are also selling your right away to the stock dividend. This is all if you want the next bridge shares. Some people are going to sell their MMTLP before you know, the company goes ahead and spins out to NextBridge. Some people want NextBridge. It's completely up to you to decide. Like I said multiple times, I think the value of MMTLP itself will be higher than the value of a next bridge. So that means I'm personally going to be taking profit on MMTLP as we move higher on this squeeze. What is the distribution date? This is the day the company pays out the dividend. On the distribution date is when you will actually own the shares of a next bridge. Don't be surprised if it takes a bit for your shares to be appear in your broker on the distribution date. You will get your shares no matter what. Don't worry about it. I also believe George and John will take as long as possible to put these dates out. I know it's going to be soon, but they will take as long as possible, even though it still will be soon, to give out those dates and give MMTLP and MMAT time to build up as much hype as possible, get all these social media influencers constantly posting about it, and then let the stocks ride out and destroy the shorts along the way. This would be a very smart strategy just to give all this time possible to build this hype. They know this community is very, very strong. We could be getting the financial pro formers for NextBridge any day, as John Abrita mentioned. This would be an estimate of the assets and revenues that NextBridge will have. Here's a list of brokers where you can buy MMTLP shares, and some people are having trouble buying. Charles Schwab, TD Ameritrade, Fidelity, First Trade, Quest Trade, E Trade, Chase Bank, and Comsec in Australia. You can also call your broker for help. Sometimes they'll place an order for you. I've done it many times with different OTC stocks. Interest is rising for both on Google Trends with MMTLP having slightly more interest. Now let's get into ticker MMAT up 30% today, $2.16 right now, a 700 million market cap. Had a huge day today. I found it interesting that there was a Reddit post with 155 upvotes that said, don't be surprised if MMAT's price goes down today when MMTLP is running on Monday, which is today. The opposite happened. They both went up. They both ran tremendously. This is why it's so important to take every post you see with a grain of salt. This is good news for MMAT because many believe there will be a bunch of money poured into MMAT once MMTLP investors start taking their profits. And then that could cause a squeeze of MMAT because a lot of people there's been polls out there that a lot of people are going to take profit on their MMTLP before the spin out and distribution dates. It's always up to you to decide, but that's just what I've seen in the community. Just keep in mind, there is a $250 million offering on the table, dollar offering, not share offering currently for MMAT. The CEO would be wise, in my opinion, to allow the stock to squeeze a little bit before diluting these shares because that could kill the momentum for both MMTLP and MMAT if they dilute right now. In my opinion, I don't think they're going to dilute until at least after the distribution date and giving both of these stocks a chance to have that squeeze because then they could make a lot more money off of this offering if they let MMAT squeeze. Now they could dilute tomorrow for all I know, but this is what I believe is a much more wise thing that the CEO should do. But they could dilute. So just keep in mind, if you're up a lot in your position, never be afraid to scale out on the way higher. MMTLP is number one trending, number two most active, and MMAT and MMTLP are number one and two for most new watchers in the past 24 hours on Stock Twitch. Most new watchers, meaning there's a bunch of new eyes on this play that never knew about the play before. Next stock ticker COSM. This is one of the top squeeze plays currently right now at 18 cent, hit 20 cent after hours up 21% on the day, another 16% after hours. This was alerted at 8 cent 
per share in the Discord multiple times. If you want to join that Discord, link in the top pinned comment, and you can see multiple times. And it was even alerted at seven cent when the CEO initially bought those 12.5 million shares. Members are up 100% from these different alerts. It's at a 14 million market cap right now. They posted news today the company is active that they're going to be selling their product to 10 million new passengers. The IR manager said they have an upcoming acquisition that includes a license worth $50 million. So there's an acquisition and a second acquisition coming up of Zip Doctor, which Frank called a cash cow that can make up to $1 million per month. Two major acquisition catalysts coming soon. The Cosm CEO has bought over $6 million, $6 million worth of stock, and he bought as high as $7.50 per share. He also mentioned the potential of an upstream dual listing very soon. And if they announce that, I think that could trigger a short squeeze we have not seen in a very long time as the short interest on COSM is over 700%. Drop a quick like on this video, comment down below, and if there's any stocks that you think I missed in this video, have the notification bell on because I will be covering them in the very near future. That's it for me. Peace.